Eclipse Subclips Install and GWT Project Import by Brandon Donaldson. First, let's go to the Install New Software. And then we want to go to subclips.tigris.org, download and install. And we want to find the 1.6 update site link. Copy that. Go back to Eclipse. Add it to the repository list. Let's name it for future reference. OK. Add all the features. Next, I, I accept is um, next, finish, it will restart and activate the features. You can go to Eclipse Preferences or Windows Preferences depending on your operating system. Type in SVN and you'll get the options. You can turn off JHL to avoid some errors. Let's make a new project, import an SVN project, and we'll import one of mine, select copy on the URL, create a new repository, you won't have to do this again for this repository. Let's select one of my Eclipse projects, which is a folder in the SVN repository. Let's go Request Factory. We'll talk about that in another episode. Let's finish. It will import the project. Your class path may be needed to be updated. Let's show some of the other SVN repository features. Our perspectives. Window, Open Perspective, Team Synchronizing. You can move these quick shortcuts. I like them in this order. Java Debug, Team Synchronizing, SVN Repositories. There's the project. If you want to see the right click on the menu, go Team. And here's the Synchronize to, with Repository. And thanks for watching. More on gwtexamples.googlecode or check out my YouTube channel.